Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I thought I would take you along on the exciting adventure that is my day. I say it like that because it's really not that exciting, <laughs> but I love filming these and I love watching day in the life videos. They're some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. So I enjoy making it. I hope that you guys enjoy watching it, even though it's not incredibly exciting. I'm not going out on the town because we're still taking things very seriously and proceeding with a lot of caution in California specifically because we have had a spike in COVID cases. So not really going out at all except for essentials, just trying to do our part to slow the spread. So me and Barrett have really just been hanging out here, making meals at home and trying to still have a good time and keep ourselves busy. So I thought I would take you along on a day in the life with me, still basically in quarantine kind of mode. But to start this video off, I first wanted to thank Filmora9 for sponsoring this video. I am so excited that Filmora9 sponsored my video today because I actually get a lot of questions from you guys about editing and if you're interested at all in starting your own YouTube channel or making and editing your own videos, I think you should really check out Filmora 9 because it's designed for beginners, so it's super easy to use. It took me no time at all to figure out how to use all of the features like the trimming and the cropping. Filmora 9 has a bunch of just preset features that are really cool and unique. They have music, they have effects and transitions that are all free. I thought it was so perfect that Filmora 9 sponsored this video because I usually start out my day or my mornings by putting a rough edit onto my latest video. It's so cool because you can just scroll through their effects. They have so, so many cool effects and all you do is just drag and drop an effect onto your timeline and onto your video and it shows up and it's that easy. From all the features on Filmora 9, the one that I love the most is the transition features. I just think they have so many options. I mean, look, it goes on forever. There's endless really cool options to add really fun and interesting transitions into your videos. I added this one right here. And it's this super cute pink effect and I just think they have really unique transitions and they're so fun to add to your video. And if you're looking for some more cool audio, image, footage, after effects, you can actually go to Filmora 9's online stock library, film stocks, and download the assets that you want. Most importantly, and the reason that I wanna recommend it to you guys is because it's super affordable, especially compared to Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, and you can even try it for free before you actually make your purchase. The download link for Filmora 9 is in my description box below, and you can download it for free today. So now that I'm done editing, let's go make some breakfast. Breakfast. I thought I'd show you what one of my favorite breakfasts right now has been. I love tomatoes. Barrett actually doesn't like tomatoes or avocados. Completely outed him on camera, but like, isn't that crazy? Those are like my two favorite foods, so that's the drama. Tomatoes right now are so good at the grocery store. I don't know if you've noticed. It's tomato season, baby, and I'm here for it. They are like these big heirloom, really yummy tomatoes. They just have like a lot of flavor. Love them, and they're really big. So my favorite thing has been to have tomatoes on toast for breakfast. I usually always have fruit in the morning, so I have fruit on the side, and then I've been on a savory kick, so. I think you guys saw my oatmeal before. That's what I had been eating for a while, every single day, without fail. And now I'm on a savory kick. So tomatoes on toast it is. Let's do it. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of that? Good morning. It's 6.30 a.m. <laughs> oh my God, imagine. I just told them that you don't like avocados. 
Don't expose me like that. <laughs> Don't be weird. Okay, so here's my breakfast ingredients. This is the breakfast I've been loving recently. Best bread ever from Tartine. Wait, I was just in the corner, like literally like picking an eye booger out of my eye. <laughs> I didn't think that I was on camera. So, here's my <laughs> breakfast ingredients. This tartine bread, it's super good. If you see it at your grocery store, you should get it. And avocado, Barrett's favorite. Great. Tomato, Barrett's also favorite. And then for sauces, I'm using mayo. And this, I, I just tried this for the first time. Mi, Miyoko's Creamery. Vegan cream cheese, savory scallion. So it's like scallion cream cheese, except I guess it's dairy free. Savory scallion. Savory scallion. I'm not being dairy free right now, but I just thought, oh, I guess that's, you know, healthier than normal. It makes me feel a little healthier. And then on the side, having some bloobs, having some straws. First step, toast the bread. Of the world. <sighs> This is really the lo-fi hip-hop. Do we have any arugula? Arugula. And uh, what are you preparing for the judges today? I'm preparing a breakfast sandwich with prosciutto. Arugula, cheese, mayo, egg, hot sauce, just something light. We go big or go home with breakfast. It's one of our favorite meals. I don't know, I think it is my favorite meal actually. And in quarantine, there's not a time to look forward to. So you know what? I'm gonna make a delicious breakfast and look forward to it. I'm gonna make an delicious breakfast. You know what? Can you just not make fun of me for five seconds? It's really good. So on one side, I'm putting mayo. Next up, going in with the scallion vegan cream cheese. Next up, cutting my tomato. Then I put that on the mayo side. Putting avocado on the scallion cream cheese half. Now it's time to season. It's season season. <laughs> I put some salt and then some pepper, some red pepper flakes, and then I put some olive oil. I'm going to put some broccoli sprouts on top. I love my little toasties. I love them and I must protect them at all costs. Let's get them in some good lighting. This ain't your average butter and jam toast, am I right? I forgot the most important step. Fresh basil plant check. Stop it with the blank check. So I got this basil plant at the grocery store and I love it. Oh, I need to feed her. Now we can get our basil. Put it on our tomato because tomato and basil is a great combo as I think we're all aware of. How's your masterpiece going? These onions are so oddly placed. This is Barrett's finished breakfast sandwich. And actually, I have to say it looks stunning on camera. It's very photogenic. She's a stunning, stunning masterpiece. At Barrett on the internet, on Instagram for private catering inquiries. up with you so I actually have some updates I am going to be going back to New York 
I'm really excited. It's honestly been a whirlwind trying to figure out what I'm gonna do because it's my last year of college and kind of just decided with my friends that I just wanna be with my friends and we're gonna be doing online school together. So I think it's gonna be really fun. I just wanted to kind of be in an environment where other people are doing school around me. I think that's gonna be really motivating and nice. I just think it's gonna be really good for my mental health to be around some friends and it'll be really fun to be in a new place. I think just a change of scenery will be really nice. I feel very lucky that I'm healthy, that my friends and family are all healthy, and I hope that all of your loved ones are healthy and safe as well. If any of you guys are feeling a little stressed about the new school year coming up, I definitely understand where you're coming from. It's totally new for all of us, and I definitely think online school is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I am excited to still be able to take my classes and be with my friends. I am really excited to take you guys along for the ride with me. I think it'll be really fun to vlog and film videos in New York and just have a complete change of scenery. I think it's gonna be really fun. So I will definitely be vlogging that and I'll have some really fun video content, I think, in the months to come for sure. I also have some really exciting things in the works with G Polish, some fun launches coming up, some current obsessions that I wanted to share with you guys are Dominic Fike's new album. Does anyone else feel like when they just find new music, it just invigorates you. Like now I'm excited to get in the car and go to the grocery store because I can listen to an album. So I just drive really slow so I can like listen to my music. Second obsession is, oh my gosh, me and Taylor have started watching Love Island. It's an obsession. There's 50 episodes in this season we're watching. And we were, when we started it, we were like, how do they do 50 episodes? Like that's gonna get really boring. Guess what? It doesn't get boring. And you just start saying things like, he's quite fit. It's Monday. Melissa Wood Health posts new workouts on Monday. So I think I'm gonna go do a Melissa Wood Health workout. So I'll take you along with me. Today we're doing 23 minute arms and abs using your own body weight. I just got out of the shower and now I'm going to put some makeup on because I need to film some promo pieces for G Polish. Cue time lapse. Top. This is from Lisa Says Ga. Pretty cute, huh? Also, if you can hear Shumai in the back, she's eating her dinner. And speaking of dinner, Taylor is coming over tonight and we're gonna watch Love Island because, duh. Probably four episodes, you know, we'll see how much stamina we have in us. And I'm gonna make us some dinner. I'm gonna make us a little rice stir fry. So, my mom actually has a really good recipe for cooking rice. I don't know why rice is confusing to cook. I've made bad rice so many times. And I tried my mom's recipe for how she always makes rice and it works perfect every time. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Okay, so I've got some jasmine rice here and you do a one to two ratio, so I'm gonna do one cup of rice, two cups of water. So I'm gonna pour my rice in my measuring cup. I mean, you can also just eyeball it, but I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I like to measure it. So there's my rice, and then what my mom says to do is put your pot on medium heat, and then put some olive oil in the bottom of the pan. 
and then add your rice in. No water, just rice and olive oil. You just stir and heat up your rice with the olive oil. So I'm just gonna let that heat up for a sec. I'm just stirring it around. So while we're waiting for this to heat up a little bit, I'll just tell you guys the next steps. So after this heats up for a sec, we're gonna add two cups of water. Once the water has almost completely cooked down, we're gonna turn off the heat, cover the pot, and just let it sit for 15 minutes without touching it at all. And after 15 minutes, I swear, it comes out perfect. So now I'm gonna add the two cups of water. And then I'm just gonna let that sit and come check on it in a little bit and see if the water has cooked down. I'm back. That's what it looks like when you stir it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this and set a timer for 15 minutes. I'm turning off the heat and come check on that in 15 minutes. I think it should be good. I am back to check on my rice. I'm wearing sweatpants, it's comfy time. Let's see what's happening. It looks stunning. It looks perfect. Now you can add your salt and pepper, whatever seasoning you want, and it's good to go. I hope that little rice moment was somewhat helpful to somebody. I'm just gonna throw some veggies in with the rice, a little soy sauce, and just make a quick stir fry. Taylor is gonna be here very soon and we're gonna watch Love Island. Yay! Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know when I upload a new video. I really hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me and I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.